Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Did you know that steel framing is gaining popularity among contractors, owner builders for primary residents, ADUs, or even farm or outbuildings on a hobby farm? And the reasons for it are not that it's just a passing fad, but there are some really compelling reasons why you and I should consider it for the next build. Join me for something that's a little bit different than we generally do on this channel, where I interview Brad Cooper, one of the co-founders of Frame Up Now. Now, Frame Up Now is the premier provider of steel building structures, the framing units and modular sets, also plan conversion services. They have plans, but you can also bring your own plans and all be converted very quickly using a lot of great tools they've developed so that you can get to your project quicker. Join me with this interview. I know you're gonna walk away more informed and a lot more curious about whether or not this is the path for you to take for an upcoming build. We'll see you at the interview. Why are more homeowners choosing steel frames for their ADU builds? That's the question we're going to answer today. Hello, I'm Dirt Farmer Jay of DirtFarmerJay.com and welcome to this edition of Fun with Frame Up Now. Today, I'm joined by Brad Cooper, one of the founders of Frame Up Now. Brad, you've been involved with custom home building for many years, and you're seeing a needed transition from wood to steel framing for home construction. Is that right? That is correct. We found that uh, metal framing has many more benefits over wood um, in completing the home to get a really high quality product. So are you seeing more contractors making the move to steel framing uh, due to things like speed of construction, simplicity of erecting the structure? Are those the kind of factors that are important here? You know, those are the factors that are important in this. Um, what, in my personal experience, um, the speed for the framing uh, is usually cut at about in half. Um, so your ve velocity on a project wow. increases. Uh, which obviously to a builder that increases to the bottom line. You're seeing in the quality of the product, the preciseness of the product and how straight the walls are. Um, in my in my experience, to get like a level five drywall finish is much easier to get a level five drywall finish than it is with a um, wood framing. Walls are very true and very flat. Now, I've never heard that terminology before. Level five drywall finish. Give me a real quick... But basically, what that five means is a drywall finish, uh, one through five, one being very cheap, you know, getting into your track homes, not not a very nice finish, all the way on up to two, three, four, and five. When you're getting into five, you're getting into some real high custom, real flat, flat work, which is very precise on the walls. So there's no blemishes. Wow. Uh, so you've given some compelling reasons here, but you've been building for a long time. Uh, what are some of your other favorite reasons why someone really should consider using a steel framing for the construction method? Well, the, first off, the, the sustainability of the, the product itself. Um, so the product we use is uh, recycled galvanized steel. Wow, and okay. Everything you we take down or the waste factor that we use is very small, but what we do have, it goes in directly to be recycled. So that's a real nice one for the environment. Um, the speed, again, is really, really a big factor. Um, other than that, the finish details going into a metal frame home, it's very much easier to get a high level of finish um, when all your walls are true, when you're building your closets, when you're building custom casework. Um, you're not having to uh, maneuver around crooked walls. Um, so your quality is much better. Hanging doors and windows, that's another really much simpler product to do. When you're hanging a door in a true opening, it is so much easier to do. And then all your window openings, they're very true and straight and square. So by the time you're finishing and putting your drywall on, everything fits very nicely. So these benefits you just described are true, whether it's a full-size dwelling or what's called an ADU, an accessory dwelling unit, right? All these benefits translate to those environments, correct? They do. Yeah, especially, and ADUs are so simple and easy to put up um, and very easy for a homeowner to do by themselves. Um, it it's, makes for a very nice finished product. 
So as someone who is interested in building an ADU, but perhaps Phil, they're a little bit out on the limb, it's past their uh, abilities, they could certainly uh, use a contractor and specify that uh, steel framing is used uh, from frame up now, right? Most definitely. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that um, don't feel comfortable building it, but they can hire that all done and they could even general it themselves if they wanted. Um, but if, having a general on site for somebody that's not experienced is a simply easy thing to do. Um, you're going to spend a little more, obviously, for that labor product, but you're going to get a nice product. So whether somebody's building a full size residence or an ADU, a small accessory dwelling, uh, these are certainly becoming very popular, these smaller units. And whether they're called casitas, granny flats, or in the case of our Amish friends, Dottie House, which means literally grandpa's house, they are certainly gaining popularity. Uh, and owners want the unit to last and to be low maintenance. And there's even been a term to describe this low maintenance aspect called casita durability. Mm -hmm. And steel framing really delivers in these aspects, right? It really does. Um the longevity of the product itself is better than wood, obviously. Um, and then the quality of it. Um, so the overall product, yes, is going to last longer. So if I have, um, if I have a home or ADU plan that's specified for wood framing, can you there at frame up now convert the plan to steel framing? We can, um, as long as the customer has, a. Uh, even a conceptual, if you have a, either a, just a conceptualized idea on paper, or if you have an actual PDF plan that you um, have access to, or if you actually have the uh, CAD files, um, we can take any of those and convert them into steel and uh, have them ready to go um, to your um, local jurisdiction um, to go get a permit with. So this is pretty convincing, compelling stuff. So if somebody wants to get started or explore more about this, of working with you or pursuing the route of steel framing, what's the best ways to contact you? Sure. Um, the website is the best way um, at www.frameupnow.com. Um, that's an easy way to look at our whole website and see get a lot of information. And there's a number also on there if you'd like to reach an operator um, at 888-864-0184. They'll be happy to speak with somebody. I'll also put that information in the description down below. So you can just look down there after you've watched this episode and get in contact with Frame Up Now. If you'd like to be notified of those upcoming episodes Brad and I alluded to, be sure to subscribe. And when you do, ring the bell so you get a courtesy notification. Hey, thanks, Brad, for joining me today. Thank you for having me. And thank you guys for watching. Until the next time, this has been fun with Frame Up Now. And there you have it. Compelling reasons why you should consider using steel framing for your next build. Now, Frame Up Now has published this great book that tells about steel framing, why it really works well, the problems it's solving, and a lot of the things that they offer in the way of ADUs, accessory dwelling units, were really great for a secondary um, dwelling on current property. And this is great for family members, whether it's the elderly or the young that you're trying to get into the housing market. All those sort of things are covered in here. This is a great book. I'll put the information below where you can order it and you can check out this video where we cover this more in depth. And while you're at it, take a look at this other video that YouTube thinks is perfect for you. And we know that you'll enjoy it too. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.